The school bully picked up a glass of orange juice and poured it on Connor's most cherished picture album. Then he menacingly warned him that cowards deserved such treatment. After doing all this, the school bully swaggered away. Little did he know that he had a wake and the century-old tree demon slumbering inside Connor. Connor tightly clenched his fist and furiously charged towards the school bullies. The tree demon had been trailing behind Connor. In no time, it kicked over all the tables and chairs in the cafeteria. The school bully had no time to dodge and was quickly knocked to the ground by Connor, facing the enraged boy. The school bully had no chance to retaliate. He was seriously injured. Connor was taken to the principal's office and asked to explain his actions just now, just then. Bad news came from the hospital. Connor was urgently taken to the hospital to see his sick mother. Since the treatment had been ineffective, his mother's life had entered the countdown. Connor couldn't accept this result. He sadly fled the hospital and dashed all the way to the cemetery opposite his home. He forcefully kicked the U-Tree demon to make it show its true form and fulfill its promise to cure his mother. Amid Connor's heart-trenching roars, the tree demon finally appeared and revealed the purpose of always being by his side. I came to heal you. Me! I'm the one who needs healing! Connor always evaded his true inner voice and didn't dare to speak about the nightmare he had every day, until the tree demon told Connor that his mother was here. Connor looked in the direction the tree demon was looking to his horror. He found his mother standing in front of a church. The ground beneath her feet was cracking and was about to plunge into the abyss. Connor lunged forward and grabbed his mother's hand. However, everything was just as in his dream. Connor let go and his mother's figure disappeared into the darkness. But the tree demon continued to press him to speak his inner voice. Connor kept backing away. That was brave, Connor. His defenses completely crumbled and he shouted out the fact he least wanted to face. The tree demon gently cupped Connor in his palm and told him that he wasn't really wrong to think that way. It was also his mother's expectation for him to bravely and calmly face his true self at seven minutes past midnight. His mother closed her eyes and left Connor forever. From that day on, the tree demon never appeared again because his mother knew that her baby had grown up and could face the difficulties of life on his own.